there's a danger in terms of self-discipline and training your mind and so on. I think there's a danger to see that as what we would think classically in terms of like training a dog or authoritarian training. What I visualize more is that instead of riding the elephant, you can be with the elephant and by actually walking alongside the elephant and having a relationship with the elephant where the elephant is not stupid, you might say, where the elephant is, is seen as uh, as whole and all right as they are, but they're not something to be changed. You can have a better relationship with yourself and sometimes your mind does run away with itself. The most horrible thing about being neurodiverse in that sense is you know that you're odd. You know everyone else can see <laughs> you're odd. It's not like you don't know. And there's nothing you can do about it. You can end up spending the whole time feeling shame and guilt and, and embarrassment. And, but to be able to meet that objectively as, this is who I am. This is my elephant. My elephant's a bit out of control sometimes. You know, I won't hurt anybody, but at the same time, it might not be what you expect. This is something I noticed in India as well, is that sometimes this, the, the idea of using meditation and stuff to control your self-discipline and to control and to sort of subdue who you are. Some people have got extraordinary self-control. There's autistic people who become anorexic, for example. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. You can have incredible self-control and can be a danger to yourself as a, in the process. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.